Good day. In this video in the educational demo series, we will be talking about the project and program list. So we'll go home page and it is under portfolio management for the time being and it's a project and program list. Now I'm using the Uruk account. So basically you can see here, there's a lot of project and program and you can notice the status. What I want, the, the things I wanna talk about in this case is that typically when we look at project and program, uh, we have five classifications. So the status, we have five. When we enter a project into the system, it will go into a future database. And that future database, that means it is, we used to call it the parking lot. That means the project is in a root platform, but is inactive and nobody can work on it until a sponsor activated. So the project, when, when we add a project to the system, will go into a future. And then uh, once the project sponsor activated, it become active. Now, in addition to that, uh, we have three other status. Sometime you might have an active project and the sponsor might decide to put it on hold. Uh, I don't think I have any project on hold in here to show you, but it will be basically uh, in the status column here, it will show it on hold. And when the project is completed and we go into the PLT closure and we approve the last stage gate in the PLC stage, the PLT closure stage, then the project would be flagged here as completed, not closed, completed right because closure if you have watched or you can watch our the video on success uh, we don't close a project until we do the final success assessment which could be sometime in the future after completion so a close that means now the project is totally closed nobody can touch it anymore it's in the system and its data is locked uh, whereas completed that also means that almost everything is is locked except two module, the captured lesson module and the project success module because the project success module we need it open until we do the final success assessment, which could be sometime in the future. And we are leaving with it the captured lesson learned in case there are some captured lesson we wanna uh, include in the database at that time. But once it's closed, everything is closed. So you can see that is uh, basically uh, this, this is the most important thing here is the status. The rest of this is self-explanatory. Uh, if you go to the end of this, uh, basically you can see the action and there are two types of action you can do. Uh, sorry, it opened the file. I didn't want to open it. Uh, so if we look at action, they can view or edit the project from here. Uh, and of course, in terms of viewing, the default is 10, but you can see more in, in your views here. So let me click, click clear all. Now, what can you do in here? You can filter. Obviously, you can uh, basically decide what do you want to see in the column. You can filter. Uh, basically, you can filter. I want to see only, for example, I want to see only programs. Right? So let me do that. Forget everything else right now. And then as you notice here now, I have only the program that I have and I have two active program and one close. Uh, back to filter, I can filter for project only. I can filter of course for project and program. Uh, status, I can search, for example, I can only if I want, you know, as the database get bigger and you have a project management unit or project management office, want to analyze some project, you will be able to select, for example, all active project only or, or completed project or only the closed project. Um, you can also search by sponsor. I wanna see only the project done by sponsor X or all the project by project manager Y or by organizational unit, right? Or the date range. I wanna see the project that were happening in uh, between uh, uh, January 1, 2019 and January 15, 2022, right? So you can set the range, you can set the range of costs, you can set the range of duration. So there is quite a bit of variables here for filtering to ability to see that if you wanna zoom in on a certain area 
and then based on that, well, now I want to basically also let me just keep it apply or. Um, and uh, you can add a project or a program from here. Uh, so basically, uh, this is the project list. Uh, is there anything else to talk about here? I don't think so. So let me uh, close this video.